it was like um, a crash course on what it would be if you actually won. Because presumably, that's what Wakil Rakyats will have to do. The voters, both BN Dining and Atas Pagar, uh, really took to, and I don't want to say this in a way that's angkat bakul, but really took to uh, my candidacy. I could see real excitement among a segment of the population. Uh, of the voters, uh, and that was the real highlight. Dalam hari mengundi tu, ada dua orang yang came up to me, uh, minta selfie. Tapi lepas selfie tu, dia cakap minta maaf kita minat dengan you, tapi kali ni tak boleh pangkah dacing. So ni dua benda ni jadi dua kali, bukan dua orang eh, dua kali. That was saat tu yang saya rasa. Walaupun dalam 11 hari itu nampak ada ada sedikit momentum tetapi saat apabila dua pengundi itu dua kali dua insiden tersebut membuatkan saya rasa ada sesuatu yang yang luar jangkaan. Uh, dari segi how to tarik balik pengundi muda, I think we need to speak to all kinds of pengundi muda uh, and not just um, purist core of AMNO. Uh, and that means speaking in a language that is that talks uh, more about policy, uh, that talks more about ideology, uh, that talks more about uh, more worldly principles. Like I said, democracy, openness, transparency. These are things that young people suka. So those are things that uh, I think we need to reflect as opposed to just remaining a uh, purist uh, party that, that uh, speaks to very small base uh, and hope that somehow that, that uh, you know red meat politics will will uh, gain more support as i was growing up i would go to uh, gigs as they were called then i would watch bands as that range from acab to seven quality shirt Butterfingers. Butterfingers have always stayed with me in, in the sense that I, I really think they're actually really, really good. So even though they stopped playing now, they've sort of broken up. But I still listen to their stuff.